Pastor Taylor, I'm so hungry. Aren't you hungry? I am hungry, but that's okay, because actually, I brought us lunch today. Ooh, yeah. do yeah. tell. Yeah. What did you bring? I brought your favorite spaghetti. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Really? I'm of so course, excited. Of course. I love spaghetti. But not just any spaghetti, okay? I oh. brought elf spaghetti. Oh. Elf. Elf spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, you remember like M&M's, we got Milo's, and I mean so, so much more. Maple syrup. You know what? So much more. It's it's time for the Elk Kids Show. You know what? I'm not hungry. I was, I was what just kidding. What are you talking about? This no. is going to be really good. I'm good. It's Elf spaghetti, dude. It's your favorite. Full. I'm good. Welcome to the Elkid Show. My name is Pastor Yvonne. Yeah, and my name is Pastor Taylor, and today is going to be a sweet one. Mm, I don't know about sweet, but I am excited to be jumping back Ooh. into our story of how Jesus saved the world. Yeah, me too. This is one of the most important stories ever Ooh. told. And crazy enough, you and I, we play a role in the story too, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Yes, we will see that Christmas time celebrates such a special day, mm. and that is the day that Jesus was born. Yeah. But there's so much more to the story. There is, and like most stories, there's usually like a bad guy or a villain, there you is. know? And mm. our story has the worst of the worst involved, the devil. He's the worst, and just like God had a plan to save the world and use people, the devil was cooking up his own master plan to use people and get That's rid true. of Jesus. That's yeah. true, mm. he was. But before we share too much about the story, huh? Let's read over our Bible verse, which is found in our book. Oh, Got that's nice little, right. Check it out. Yeah. More specifically, the check it book out. of 1 John, and that is 4.14. Oh, so, right. you got a Bible. Open it up. What? Pastor Ivalani, would that's you like to do the cool honors, book. please? Do the, bring honors? the verse, Please. Please. I didn't know if you I think, ask, but I'd love this to. This is all you. Okay. This is all you. Like we said, 1 John 4.14. It's a great verse. Here it is. It is, and we have seen and testify that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Mm -hmm. That's a great that verse. Is great stuff. I don't think I sound so great saying it, but I feel like Sounding they great. would sound so good saying it. I think you guys, you guys are going to sound awesome. So I want you, you mm -hmm. to repeat after me, okay? Yes. Now get loud, be proud. We're talking about the greatest story of all time here, okay? Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, and we have seen and testify mm -hmm. that the Father has sent His Son yeah. to be the Savior of the world. The world. The world. The world. And again, that's First John world. 4, 14, y'all. I know, way to go with the verse. Yes. Now, our verse is really a statement proclaiming Jesus as our savior of the world. Mm. It's pretty amazing. That's right, that's right. And then, you know the devil? Not a fan at all. He's a big old hater. He is. Big old hater. Yeah, for sure. And you know what? I think we should just get right to it and see what happens in our story That's book. a great idea, I agree. Let's hand this book over to oh. our good friend, Fabian. You ready oh, for this? Let's do it. Oh. Oh, thanks, Pastor Taylor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> hey, all kids, how you doing? I'm Fabian, and we're gonna read my new favorite Christmas story, How Jesus Saved the World. We've been learning that God had a master plan, which was to save the entire world from death and destruction. We've also learned that God uses normal people, ordinary people, for his extraordinary plans. And today, I think our story takes a little turn, but nothing to worry because I know King Jesus, I know. I just know he's gonna come through. Let's go ahead and open up our book and see what we're learning about today. Herod, the original Grinch. Okay, let, let's get started, let's get started. Wait, hold on. We need our cocoa, have to. Every time, every time. The prophet Isaiah was given a message from the Lord that men would come from far off, distant lands, bringing in wealth and treasures. They would travel great distances to come and worship the King of Kings who was born on Christmas Day. 
This was a sign that one day the whole world, every nation, would bow down to this baby that was laying in a manger. This prophecy, just like the birth of Jesus, was fulfilled, and we call these men the wise men. Or Magi, no, Magi, Magi. And they followed a bright star in the sky all the way to Bethlehem. An angel appeared to the Magi and told them that the star in the sky would lead them to the Messiah. Messiah means savior or promised deliverer. And that's exactly what Jesus was. They arrived and spread the news of the chosen king that was born. I mean, wouldn't you? This was the king that the world was waiting for. Hundreds of years of stories and anticipation all came down to this moment. But with as many people who were awaiting the Messiah, for good reason, there were also a few who would be used by the villain of our story. Satan, the biggest bad guy of all time, hated good and wanted so badly to stop at nothing to halt God's plan to save the world through Jesus. Just like God uses people to do his good works, the devil uses people to do awful things. And he did just that. The devil put thoughts of jealousy and hate into none other than the king of that region, the evil king Herod. Herod was a liar, and he tried to trick the wise men and the Jewish leaders into telling them where the Messiah was. He told them that he wanted to worship the Messiah, but secretly he wanted to kill baby Jesus. Can you imagine? That's awful. Herod wanted to be the only king. He scoffed at the idea that someone would become more powerful than him. He was greedy, selfish, and was willing to kill anyone who got in the way. Man, talk about a real Grinch. Ah, let's flip the page. This is, this, is getting in, this is getting intense for me. This is getting kind of intense. Thankfully, God knew the devil was up to no good, and of course, no one is going to outsmart God. He warned the wise men and Joseph that Herod was out to kill Jesus. Man, that's insane. And this gave them the chance to leave Bethlehem and get away safely until Jesus was older. God really had his plan thought out. We know that Jesus grows up to do the most wonderful things that this world has ever seen, and through him, the world will be saved. Well, kids, that's where our story ends today. We know that God is always one step ahead and that no evil can ever conquer his amazing plans. Well, kids, that's it for me. We'll see you next time. Hey, L kids, and welcome to the Couch of Questions, where I, your host, Pastor Imelani, am going to ask a special guest questions on a couch, you guessed it, that's right. And today we have an actual celebrity guest here on the show. It is no other than the one, the only, the, the, the Grinch. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Grinch, that's right. So wonderful to be here. I'm a little, I'm a little starstruck. Really? Yes, you're like, That's so funny, I feel the same way. No. Yes. Seriously? I'm totally Team Lonnie. Can I call you Lonnie? You, yes, okay. you can call me Lonnie, absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. well, hey, okay, this is awesome. Well, Grinch, okay. I have some questions for you. Are okay. you ready to answer them? I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Don't be nervous, you're so good at this. Like you're pro, you're such a pro. Oh my goodness, are you ready? Okay. Okay, we're gonna do some rapid fire questions, so we're just gonna, boom, boom, we're gonna get with it. We're gonna go. All right. Are you fast, are you good? Yeah. You are? Sure. Sure? Yeah, um, why not? Okay, here okay. we go. First question. What is your full name? The full uh, thing, I mean. Well, that's an easy one. Oh, yeah. My name is The Grinch Theodore Roosevelt. Oh. Ferdinand, who's super serpent scoffin. Oh. Uh, that's the, the Norwegian part of my family. Oh, okay. The first. The first? Yes. The first. The second's coming. I mean, I knew that it had to be something a little bit more extravagant because, like, the Grinch seems like a nickname. Or, like, a, I mean, not a nickname, but. It shortened it. Shortened. But I like it. Okay. okay. Next question. Okay. What is your favorite color? Ha! That's an easy one. Yeah. Blue! Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Can I ask you another question? Okay. Shoot. Favorite food? Ah, anything out of the garbage will do. But 
That's what onions that's are like. definitely my favorite. Onions. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I like onions. Got to be cooked though. Mm. You eat them raw. I do. What yeah. can I say? Yeah. They're good for the indigestion. Yeah. Or maybe they give you indigestion. I don't. Know. Either way. You know. Who knows? But that's that's okay. I think you're pretty known for that. Okay. Favorite animal. Ooh, drawing a blank. Mmm. Mmm. Animal. Yeah. I would say dog. Oh. I have a dog. But. Yeah. I don't know that Max is really my favorite. Ooh. Uh, poor Max. I don't know. I'll just say dog. Oh. I like. I mean, some too. people call me an animal, so I would say me. But. Um, who? You your favorite? Yeah. I'm hmm. <laughs> Let's go with Max, because he's like the coolest dog ever. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show Max some love. You ready for another question? Okay. Sure. Here it is. Favorite day of the week. I don't like any day that ends in Y. Oh, so that's no days. <laughs> nope, no days. No days of the week. Or I like any day that I don't have to wake up. How about that? Wait, that's Okay, so I got you there. So no yeah. days. Pretty Committed much. to that. Okay, 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 okay. Another question, sir. We're gonna do another question. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite holiday? Well, I don't really know that I have. A you have to have a favorite, at least one um, holiday. Have you ever heard of Groundhog Day? Yes, I have. Have you ever heard of Groundhog Day? Yes, I have. I just, have you ever heard of Groundhog Day? Ah, uh, I see. Again. Yes, I have. Have you ever heard of? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I yeah, see what you're doing it. here. That's God. not it. Yeah, no. it's not um, it. No, we did all that. Okay. Mm, yeah. well, what is your um, favorite holiday? Well, hmm. I used to really loathe Christmas. I've heard. But I know the story. You know, yeah. it's kind of growing on me. So I had to pick a favorite. Pick a favorite. I would say. Really? Yes. yes. I will tell everyone. I won't tell everyone. Sorry. Oops. Mm. Yeah. It's my favorite too. Oh. High five. Well. Uh, Ooh, that was a good one. Thank I you. like that. Thank That's you. A solid high five. Yeah. I, you know, I have to hold back. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I have a little bit more serious question. Okay. As a reformed, you know, you were kind of a villain at one time. You didn't love, you know, give take, you know, whatever we're gonna say. So. Wasn't very. You weren't the nicest, but could you tell the kids out there what the true meaning of Christmas is? Like, what is it all about? Yeah. So the true meaning of Christmas has nothing to do with gifts. Yeah. And tinsel. And singing. And follow la okay. All that. Mm -hmm. It has to do with a baby. <gasps> but not just any baby. That's right. A super baby. A super, like a superhero super baby? Super baby, yes. Super With baby. lightnings coming out of his eyes. Uh, that's that's no. actually not how, oh, that's not sorry. how the story goes. No, 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 oh yes, you're right. Yeah, no lightning. But that's a special super. baby though. Yes. Yes. We'll go back to that, Who special is baby. the son of God. Yes. And that's... And that's it, that's you know. It. He came to the earth, so even people as grinchy as me Ooh. could be saved. I, that was an excellent answer. It was very heartfelt. Thank you. That, I loved that. Thank you so much. I love it. Super baby, for sure, is yeah. what the meaning is all about. That's and how I like to think of them. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Well, you know what? It has been an absolute pleasure having you Thank here you. on the couch of questions with me. Yeah. But that's, uh, you know, hey, that, you that's know, I it. Got a, I got another question. You, you have a question for me? Yeah. What, what is this question? Have you ever thought about spending more time with a green guy? Oh. You, you spent... Yeah, I'm looking for a new gardener. Oh, oh, well. Maybe someone that can walk the dog. Max, oh. Max, can you come sniff her, see if she's okay? You know, I'm gonna have to pass. No? Yeah. Okay. Great offer, though. Great offer, great question. But you know what, um, our kids, it's, you know, that's it. That has been the couch of questions with- Oh, we're done. Another, yeah, great. then Thanks. the- the, the Grinch. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's go on, let's go. Let's get yep, out of here. guys, that's it for a couch of Bye. questions. I'm gonna catch Where's you back in just just a e minute. E -X -I, that's not it. Hang tight right there. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey guys, Amanda here. 
How cool was that? The actual Grinch on the Elk Kids set? I would have been starstruck because I've always been a huge Grinch fan. Such a cute story and fun movie. I love how before he became good that he always tried to ruin anything that he was a part of. This reminds me of a verse. Let's read our Bible and check out Psalms 2111. It says, although they plan against you, their evil schemes will never succeed. Isn't that verse so comforting? Knowing that evil will never win. God will always reign victorious. See, just like the Grinch, he tried to ruin Christmas, but the Whoville people would not let that happen at all. They were not going to let the Grinch ruin Christmas because the meaning was much more important to them than just gifts. Because of that, the Grinch had a change of heart and tried to save Christmas. Unlike the Grinch who had a heart change, King Herod of the Bible was a real life Grinch that had no mercy. He tried to come in and ruin God's plan, which was to save the world. However, God's plan still stood firm because nothing can come against the power of God. See, in our lives, the enemy, which is the devil, is gonna try to defeat us and ruin us. But when we are walking with God and we are strong in our faith, we will overcome the lies and schemes the devil will try to put in our lives. When we walk with God, who can ever be against us? Well, L kids, that's it for me. It is now. It's game time. Game time. That's right. That's right. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we got elf spaghetti that's elf almost ready. Elf spaghetti, right. and it's it's definitely not ready. It's not ready yet, but mm. we'll get there. We'll get ready spaghetti we have soon. We'll get all ready of the ingredients to make elf spaghetti. Mm. But, and Pastor Ivalani, tell me what we're gonna do. Oh yes, tell in honor do. of the wise men, we're gonna be playing some wise guy trivia. That's right. Or gal. Christmas or edition. Gal. Or gal. One hundred percent. We're gonna yeah, see who is the wisest when it comes to these Christmas questions and That's you right. L kids get to play along. Yeah, but answer from yes. wherever you are and see if you can get more right than we do. You might get more right than us, we're not too sure. Yeah. But there's a twist to this game because of course, as you can see, we've got some elf spaghetti. Oh. So the way it's gonna go down is at the beginning of each question, we're gonna take a big old bite. Get and eat it while we answer the question. If you get the question wrong or you didn't get to answer it, you get to take a whole nother bite. Whole nother bite. Let's get the spaghetti ready. Let's go. Let's okay, it. let's start with what? what uh, gonna I'm start gonna start with? with chocolate syrup here. So if you wanna grab something else, okay. Well, I'm already making a mess. Okay, I don't know what to start with. There's so much. Goodness. I need some like ratatouille music Ooh. playing in my head. Oh, look at that. Let's see. I'm gonna start Beautiful. here with a Pop Tart. And I'm just gonna marinara. crumble it. Crumble it. I made a whole word up. Crumble it. Crumble it. There's sprinkles. You crumble it all up. Yeah. And then, okay, because what good oh, elf spaghetti man. doesn't have? I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. You know, I was thinking this is a terrible idea, Pastor Ivalani. It is. Now, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure. I don't know why I went so extra with it here. I was no, making a design. Good for good. I was making a design. It looks really good, though. It looks really good. Handful <gasps> of M&Ms. Did we go for the same time? Oh, wait, we did. Okay, great minds think alike. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know. I like M&Ms. I I I'm kind of privy know. to them. I like you don't. Thank you. That's so yes. sweet. Yes. So much. Okay, wait. We need to get the uh, marshmallows. The marshmallows. Marshmallow. Okay. Oh wait, I'm gonna do one extra Rip this little bag over here. Oh, the whole oopsie. <laughs> Show them how strong you are. There you go. Good job. All part of the plan. What? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Dude, that's so many mollows. <laughs> it was Hold on. <laughs> and as the topping, we needed some maple syrup because. You know what ratio is? There you go. Yeah, we gotta have we gotta have maple syrup in there. <laughs> it's so liquidy. Can I do yours? Wow. Uh, no, maybe not though. You know. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough maple syrup. <laughs> no. Look at that. We used half a bottle. Okay. This is good quality. You got to mix it up, you know? Really? Okay. Yeah, Let's up. go ahead and get the first question first going. Question. So hold on. We got to get a big old bite. First question. Get your big bite. Are you twisting? I twist. How do you, you got to get stuff. your uh, ingredients though. I don't know how you get this. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. And get a good bite. Twist it. I feel like I'm more than you. Okay. Okay. Let's get the first question. How many golden rings did my true love bring to me? I think I know. Ready? I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, I guess not. Our smells are slimy. Let's hold up our answers on the count. Oh, hold up our answers? What are you holding up? Oh, yeah. Never mind. On the count of three. One, two, three. I'm guessing five. Ah, did you like nice. that one? I haven't spread it right Nice, that was good. 
Secret handshake. Okay. All right. Mm. Question number two. Let's get another bite. That ready. means we don't have to eat two bites. But now we have to jump in with. Right. I think you gotta get a little bit of the pop tart, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've got. I'm getting a little on here. This Let's time. Get a little bit of the pop tart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got a big one. You gotta get a big. I'll get that more. I'll get more baby. noodles. Hold on. What are you doing? Why are you doing extra? Gosh, doing more. Okay, I got a big bite. Stop, just eat over, what are you doing? I'm gonna go in for my bite like a normal person. This is huge, this is not a good portion. Mmm, mm. so gross. What is the Grinch's dog's name? Mmm, I don't know. I'm good to go too. And the top, the top three. Mm -hmm. You guys know? Just start with your answer. I'll give you guys a second too. <laughs> Okay. You ready? Ready. Three, three two, one. Max. 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 Okay. Hold on. That's two for two. Christmas trivia. We're wise. Okay. Do you like this? Because I don't. Yeah, I hate it. It's really bad. <laughs> no. This kinda, is the worst. Okay. I'm kind of enjoying it, but I feel like uh, I'm going to regret Are this. Are you? Really You're hard. enjoying this? Okay. Let's twist up another bite. Cause we're gonna eat yeah, at the let's same time. Twist up another bite, cause that's what we do you. with Stop. spaghetti. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be like your I, mother. You're getting mostly Feed noodles. You. You're getting mostly noodles. I'm trying to get all the good, good. You know. I'm gonna help you. Out. I'm gonna help you. Out. Thank you so much. Then you stab it, and you get it all like that. Uh huh. You got one marshmallow. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a humongous bite. <laughs> Don't turn it. It's sensitive. And a couple more. Like you ready? My stomach's about to be. It's good for you. My bite is way okay. All right, go. Ready, go. Mmm. 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 That's slippery. Mmm. 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 It's cold. It's cold. It's not the worst bite. Where was Jesus born? You know what? I hope you know it. Okay. <laughs> it's the sugar. Okay, all kids. Guess. Shout out your guess. Because we're going to shout out ours. Are you ready? Is this like the, the city or like the actual? Okay, okay, now that's important, so. Okay, please okay. don't get it wrong. Are you ready? One, <laughs> two. You know how in my head I am right now? Like, <sighs> okay. One, two, three, in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. I like how you said it after me in Bethlehem. Be 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 Bethlehem, Bethlehem. That's what she said. <laughs> in the city of Bethlehem in a manger. That's right. To Mary and Joseph. Jesus mm -hmm. of Bethlehem. Okay. Let's go ahead. Guys, I'm we're kicking butt at this now. Mess. We're gonna get another bite. Get the Pop-Tart. you guys get have Pop -Tart. Pop -Tart seen bite. how uh, wise you are. Yes, get Maybe you're making more wise decisions than our uh, dietary skills right now. That's a good bite. Oh That's a mix. Gosh, I've man. got, <laughs> this is gonna be so gross. The marshmallow's definitely, okay, you ready to in? Let's get the, let's get the question, let's hear it. Where does the Grinch live? <laughs> Easy. Don't don't laugh and eat kids because it's not safe. Oh my goodness. Hold on. What was even the question? Where does the Grinch live? Yeah, okay, I thought I heard it right. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, and in a mountain trumpet. Mount Crumpet? The Mount Crumpet, guys, guys. <laughs> I said a mountain. I said a mountain. Am I wrong? No, you didn't speak. I'm being told I'm wrong, even though I'm totally right. Okay, okay you hate it. Another bite. Go. Oh, let me get that. Can I make your bite again? That's chocolatey goodness. No. I have an idea. Make your bite and I'm gonna pour a little extra love. Uh, okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Come on. I'm losing everything. Did your mama not Go. teach you how to eat spaghetti? But oh, there's so much sugar. Oh. oh. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Oh, it's so slippery, right? It's so hard to keep in your mouth. I'm telling you, kids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why did they look so sad when you look at the camera? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, now go ahead, get your another bite, fill it up quickly, hurry up. Oh my gosh. Get some dang Pop Tart in there, bro. Cause that's what I'm doing. And M&Ms. Look at that, kids. This is what champion breakfast is made of. I need water. I need a lot of things in this. They're not being provided. <laughs> like... Okay, ready? Go. Go eat it. Let's hear the question. Oh. 
And lastly, a trick question. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Dunder, Blixum, and Rudolph are all of Santa's reindeer. But, according to the popular song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, there's one more. What is this reindeer's name? Hmm. To be honest, I blacked out for that question. Because I was like, jam into the... Do you know the song? That's not really how the song goes, but... Yeah, it is. Do you set them all? I don't know. What's your... Okay, on the count of... On the count of three? I'm... One, two... Do we... Are we thinking? Yeah. We're the same. One, two, three. But there... We set them There's all. There's not a tenth reindeer. There's not a tenth reindeer. There's not? We're wrong. Rudolph is the There's 23 the reindeers? reindeer. No, I'm just joking. How <laughs> many? We're not wise enough for trick questions, right? Not, no. <laughs> the answer is Olive, as in Olive the other reindeer. You would even say it blows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They oh, never I let still need to get through. Get Flip the table. Okay. I don't do this anymore. Okay, we have to eat another bite, but that's okay. But I'm still beating you, which is not saying much because I don't feel good. Okay, is there, do we have more questions? I'm being told that that's it. So dude, we went down together at the end there. We'll take our last bite. This is so disgusting. I mean, it's so slippery and all over my face. Here we go. Uh, mm, mm-mm. Well. It's been really fun, guys. It's been really fun. It's been a really good time. I love them. I didn't love uh, it, but. We're pretty wise. We did pretty good. For two elves uh -huh. on the Elf Kids show. Uh -huh. But that means we both win the winter banana. The Elf Kids Even show. though I know I had another point, I feel like we're teamwork. I feel like we're thinking alike. We'll take this together. Pretty good. Because I feel good. like we both got equally punished. You're right. Hi, bye. This spaghetti started off really well, and now I loathe it. Loathe. I don't want it That's anymore. it for game time. I'll catch oh you back my goodness. in just a minute. See you in a second. Boys and girls, it is now time for a quiz. Today we are focusing on Herod, the original Grinch, and the wise men. Are you ready to put your brain to work with a tricky question? Let's find out. Here we go. In our Bible story, what did the wise men follow to get to Jesus? Was it A, a satellite signal? B, a star? C, a map? Or D, directions from an angel. You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Do you have your guess locked in? If you answered C, a map, well, that's incorrect. Although it would make sense. But if you answered B, a star, that is the correct answer. And as our story goes, the wise men followed the star straight to where Jesus was and gave him gifts and worshipped him. Although they were given instruction to report back to the king, they did the opposite and warned Mary and Joseph, which allowed them to keep Jesus safe from harm and evil. Herod's plan had no chance against the power of God's plan to save the world. Well, out kids. That's all for today. Thanks for joining me at Quiz Time. Well, today was very sweet, Told and you. I will say, elf spaghetti, not a wise choice. Don't recommend it, dude. Yeah, I agree. That was a mistake, okay? I'm, I'll, I'll admit it was a mistake, and I'll for sure be paying for it. Yeah, but I do think we were both pretty wise when it came to the uh, Christmas trivia. Ah, yeah. yeah, but not as wise as the actual wise men. No. Now, those no. guys were the real deal, yes. and it was really cool to see their part of the story told today. Oh, I yes, I also mm -hmm. love that we get to see our villain, Herod, and his evil plan yeah. just straight up fail. Uh, fail no X. Now that's right, because you know what? Evil has no chance against God. God will always win and have victory in the end. That's right. Nothing was going to stop God from fulfilling his yeah. plan to save the world and send Jesus. Uh, 
yeah, L Kids, we are part of that plan and we are the ones who need saving. That's right. Our story of how Jesus saved the world is all about the love that God has for us yeah, as his children. That's true. God sent Jesus, our Savior, which is also his only son, to that's ultimately right. give his life on the cross to pay the price for our sin and be raised from the grave three days later. He did. And right now, we want to give you an opportunity to have God's plan fulfilled in your life and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and be free from sin. Yes. If you want to accept Jesus, we want to pray with you. Yeah. And if you're out there and you already have a relationship with Jesus, but just haven't truly committed a life that honors him, we want to pray with you as well. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads because on the count of three, you can raise your hand if right. you want to pray with us. Yeah. And we just raise our hand as a public display of saying, I choose Jesus. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that simple. Yeah. All right. So why don't you count to three? I will. Do it. Are you ready, guys? Wow. One, two, three. Wow. Mm. Wow. I'm so proud of y'all. Look at those exciting. hands go up. Yes. So oh, many awesome. hands. Okay. So keep your eyes closed. Mm your head bowed, and just remember this is a serious moment between you and God, no one else. That's right. And I'm going to say the prayer, is that cool? And yeah, of course. you guys repeat after me? Let's you guys do ready it. for this? All ready, y'all? Right, here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for sending your perfect son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. I believe in my heart and say with my mouth, you are my Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. And I thank you for sending me a savior. We pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. That's such an exciting thing that you it just is. did. But we know that some of you out there have already accepted Jesus, but have not been living a life that honors Jesus. Right. Would you pray over them and Be my would you do that? Yeah, yes. of course. So I want you guys to keep your heads bowed, keep your eyes closed. Again, this is just a moment between you and God, not about your friends, okay? Mm -hmm. and repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you that even when I've messed up, I can come back to you. Help me and give me strength to fully commit to you. I rededicate my life, my mind, and every breath to growing your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen y'all. So proud of you guys. Wait, this is a huge decision. Way to go, guys. You know what that calls for. We got a big five. <laughs> One. We got a big five. Are you ready? Come on, you ready? Boom. 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 Double it. Uh, big five, the person next to you yes. guys. Way to go, L Kids. We are so happy for you. We are. I mean, how cool is it to see God's master plan fulfilled on a personal level? in your own life. I mean, pretty awesome, right? That's awesome, yes. Now that you've received the best gift from Jesus, mm -hmm. go out and let everyone know why we celebrate Christmas and how Jesus came to save the world. Yes, well, L kids, it's been a treat. And that's all the time that we have for today. So, you know, we're gonna Wait, how about, out of how here. How about we go eat actual spaghetti, like not elf spaghetti? Honestly, I don't think that I can eat spaghetti for like a really long time. Fair enough. Pizza? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So okay. why don't you do it? All right. Right. Order it up. Yeah. We're going to see you later. I'll okay. Kids. I know this place that makes the pizza. best pineapple pizza. I'll go get my phone right now. I'll go Did you say my... pineapple pizza? Yeah. Cancel it. We're good. Yeah. That's it.